माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ कैन यू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन ए सुपर सिंपल शॉर्टकट मेथड यू कैन जस्ट सी द प्रॉब्लम गिवन इन द सोल्यूशन गिवन इन द टेक्सट बुक्स अ वेरी वेरी बिग सोल्यूशन इन्वॉल्विंग इंटीग्रेशन एंड डिफरेंशिएशन बट इन शाल आई विल डू दिस प्रॉब्लम विदाउट द हेल्प ऑफ एनी इंटीग्रेशन एंड डिफरेंशिएशन डायरेक्टली जस्ट विथ सिंपल लॉजिक हाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डू लेट मी डिस्कस अबाउट दैट फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट He has given S is equal to one by three t square, so I will write that S is equal to one by three t square. Can I write like this? I will take two by three and one by two. Okay, or you can write like this. First, you can take one by two, and again two by three into t square. Why I am going to do like this? I am dividing with two and multiplying with two, so that I can compare with the equations of motion that is u t plus half a t square. Where as the body is coming from, starting from rest here, I can take u t is going to be zero. I can compare s is equal to half a t square with this equation. So from this, it is understood that a is equal to two by three. So directly, I am getting a as two by three. Whereas in the book uh, he has done lot of integration and differentiation to find out y. I have done without any integration and differentiation. Now let us see. I got y now. Next step is I have to find out what is the displacement. It is given that in two seconds we have to find out the displacement. So two seconds is given in the problem. So you can write now. S is equal to one by three t square. So s is equal to one by three into t. Given in the problem is how much two seconds. So two into two you can write. So displacement is equal to four by three meters. Okay. So we got displacement as four by three, acceleration as two by three. Then directly you can apply the formula that is work done is equal to force into displacement, which is mass into acceleration into displacement. In the problem mass is given as three kg. So we can take three. Acceleration is Two by three, and uh, displacement is four by three. So three three gets cancelled. Your answer is going to be eight by three joules, which is the C option, correct option. So to find out this C, he has done a very very lengthy method, which should be avoided in the examination. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day.